Even cans of Coke here is different. They're not as big as the ones in America, but they're also not as small as the ones you get in Executive Lounge. <laughs> One of the most important religious landmarks in the city is the Zagreb Cathedral, which is also the tallest building in Croatia. The Gothic-style architecture was already in existence from the mid-13th century. You'll want to snap a few photos, step inside, and witness the interior decor. It was King Ladislaus of Hungary who commissioned the church into a cathedral in 1093. Oh my gosh, we're about to do the market in Croatia. The first one, so excited. My favorite. Not too far away from Zagreb Cathedral is Dolac's Market, which is awesome. Here you can buy the freshest peaches, cherries, berries that can't compare to the ones in supermarkets. The cheese stalls are provincial. This vibrant scene is perfect for people watching. Thank goodness there are cafes in the market square to gawk till you're ready to move on. Ready to get out the tissues? Museum of Broken Relationships is a quirky concept. As one of Europe's most innovative museums, it started out as a traveling collection of donated items. Don't be surprised if you weep by the end of the visit. The St. Mark's Church is known for its beautiful tiles up on the rooftop. Right there. So pretty. St. Mark's Square is known for St. Mark's Church, featuring the gorgeous roof tiles representing the coat of arms of Zagreb and Kingdom of Croatia, Slovenia, and Dalmatia. The square itself is also surrounded by important governmental buildings, and it's where presidential inaugurations occur. Get your cameras out. This is definitely a snap-worthy sight. Lothershock Tower, which means Thief's Bell, was constructed during the 13th century. It was meant to protect the southern gate of Gradec's town. You'll want to arrive at noon so you can witness the cannon fired from the tower that alerts churches all over Zagreb to ring the midday bell. Everyone's coming there here because we have cannonball situation going on. Oh my God! That was one cannonball, though. I thought it was gonna be like. A series of twelve. It was really loud. Then climb up the tower to capture an amazing view of the entire city. It was a magnificent sight on a sunny day. That's what made a really loud bang. Just once, though, not like twelve times. After the tower, ride the world's shortest funicular with 66-meter track. The funicular is kept in its original shape since 1890 when it was first built. This is the shortest funicular in the world, apparently. It's moving. This ride has never encountered an accident involving humans, making it the oldest, the shortest, and the safest. Zagreb's legendary five-star Esplanade Hotel is home to Le Bistro Restaurant, featuring classic French cuisine with Croatian taste. Not to be missed on the menu is the famous Esplanade Strukri, a conventional Croatian pastry. Covered in sizzling cottage cheese, concealed with cream. Got the prettiest looking coffee. More of the street food restaurant. It looks like marble with caramel in it. And look how boring I am. Good morning. <laughs> so bland. Since it coined itself as food with heart and soul, Munduoga Street Foods pulled pork sandwich is not to be missed. The portions are enormous, perfect to share family style. And the menu changes daily, ranging from sandwiches, salads to tasty desserts. Healthy and delish, submarine burgers are no joke. There are several locations in Zagreb, and they make the perfect spots to take a break from sightseeing. Each burger is made from organic ingredients without additives, and the beef is incredibly fresh, paired with local vegetables that come from all regions in Croatia. La Bodega is a fun wine bar with a cellar of 250 domestic Croatian wines with delicious prosciutto cheese from various regions of Croatia. Situated across from Zagreb Cathedral is Cappuccino Pizzeria, which offers a wide variety of pizzas and pastas. 
With a nice glass of cold Ojuisco beer, there's nothing better on a hot summer day. Did you know that neckties are from Croatia? Back in the 1600s, Croatian mercenaries in the French service wore their traditional knotted neckerchiefs that triggered the Parisians' interest. Why not get a necktie here as souvenir? In Zagreb, you'll see gingerbread hearts everywhere. Guys will offer a gingerbread heart to a girl he likes. The symbol means eternal love. Borominas are super fun kicks that you'll see all over Croatia. These designs come in all sorts of fun patterns that you won't find anywhere else. In the turn of 20th century, many ordinary Croatians became successful artists with reverse glass painting. Naive art also became a democratic movement, showing that anyone can create a valuable art despite not having any formal training. Goodbye, Zagreb. It was short, but it was so sweet. Enjoyed every minute of it. Although I spent half of it kind of working and Did being inside. Did you hear the news about the split? No. It's a huge fire there. We've just been told there's a huge fire in Split, and that's where we're going now. Really? Yeah. Oh wow. But now it's stabilized. It's okay. It's not so dangerous anymore. But yes, yesterday and the day before yesterday, it was a huge fire. Forty uh, house burned. Wait.